Hey guys, how how I hope you guys are fine. Uh, today I'm going to I'm going to show you how you can uh, create Excel file with PHP. And to do that, we're going to use a PHP Excel uh, library. And I'm, uh, I'm uh, if you missed my first tutorial to reading files through uh, through PHP Excel, you may check. Uh, you may check my past video on this channel. So let's get started. So uh, to read, uh, to create Excel file from your data, what you have to do is first you need to download this PHP library. Okay. Uh, when uh, uh, to download that that file, just simply go to uh, clone the URL. Uh, if you are set it. A proper git then you can use uh, this link to clone the URL or just simply download this from here as a zip it will be downloaded for you so what's the next th next thing is that the next thing is uh, let's uh, let's just uh, set <coughs> the download file to your uh, local host I mean you must need a server to you uh, to do all that things okay let's just uh, get into the server first uh, file explorer let me uh, let me go to my this uh, now here um, uh, let me check my download file first um, um, I had already downloaded the file so here it is and open it up and um, you'll see this file and from from all of them just you simply copy the classes folder and this is the main folder uh, you need to use on production or uh, to do things are so let's get uh, okay here is uh, here is my project ht docs and uh, write axle directory and here I'm gonna uh, show you how to how you can edit files to PHP uh, sorry write files on PHP <coughs> Excuse me, guys. <coughs> oh, my voice are a little bit down, so that's why I'm sorry for that. Uh, so okay, let's get into our project. So uh, we <coughs> we copy we copy the download folder here, and now uh, no no simply. <coughs> Uh, okay guys, so let's just open up this file oh, Here it is uh, We just opened up the file and now simply just let's uh, Simply what I have to do is uh, For example create a piece of file uh, Okay Got this Okay, so you have to inst uh, you have to uh, call your required files here. So here it is uh, classes and keys the Excel. So let's require require arms classes slash PSP Excel Excel PSP. Okay. Uh, now let's um, just have a check that uh, in, is it throwing errors or uh, something like or not. So um, when you run your server, local host server, uh, you may check that from here. Uh, right, uh, right, actually, just uh, you have to go the right, uh, go to the your uh, call right local host, local host slash. Sorry guys, local host slash. <coughs> right, actually. Uh, Axel, okay. So uh, you can see there is no error. That means uh, it has included successfully to our uh, project file. So what's next? Uh, the next thing is you have to <coughs> instantiate the PHP Axel uh, classes from the library above we required. So let's do that. PHP. Uh, Excel and PHP Excel. 
increase that so okay we did that <coughs> okay so what's next is uh, we instantiate the PSP Excel library and now we have to after instantiating the class what you have to do is uh, what you have to do is uh, let's uh, we just get the PSP Excel PSP Excel PSP Excel uh, we have to set Active sheet to zero. I mean, uh, the current sheet on Excel documents we need to set uh, set it zero to uh, and set the row one first uh, as the current. To do it, okay. Let's just go from array. From array. Oh, sorry. Set active sheet to zero. Okay. Oh, sorry guys. Uh, I forgot the method. Uh, this will be set active sheet index. Okay. Index equal to zero. So we set it to zero uh, for a normal configuration. And the next is now just PSP Excel. Is the axle and here we have to read uh, we have to uh, get the current sheet current active sheet so we can read data or we can um, uh, append append data to that so let's do that to appending data get active sheet and we're getting the uh, current active sheet I mean the zeroth active sheet and then we're simply just uh, just passing our array on the sheet from array from where from array is from array so yeah there you have, uh, you can pass three arguments um first one is your data and second one is uh you went from uh, Single or multi dimensional, our third one is the row. Let's just uh, get it that. Uh, so, to pass our data, we have to create a array. Um, like, uh, for example, I just set the name here as data, and now we don't need uh, the second one. And the third one is you have to pass uh, on that, that uh, which row you went to append data from your append data from your array so let's just uh, 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 we, we, will, we will insert data to a1 row that's it it's, it's so simple so now for now let's just create an array of data uh, that we going to insert okay let's just data we need to insert uh, some uh, uh, dummy data actually. Mm -hmm. PSP, PSP, what face? So, guys, what face? Uh, PSP axle, axle. Um, and uh, you can use uh, sheet uh, active sheet that is just a simple dummy data we will use uh, to create an action sheet from the data ok so the next thing is we we have to set some header, header information to save our actual sheet on our local drive uh, so let's do that so to do that you have to pass some uh, you have to pass uh, header information uh, let's pass it let's set content type content type app 
application uh, application yeah, that's okay uh, application slash bnb dot open xml commerce no commerce office documents spreadsheet spreadsheet dot sheet and one more header for uh, your file name content disposition disposition adjustment 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 and you have to write here okay you have to uh, you have to um, uh, you have to make, uh, you have to give a file name to reading files uh, to saving file as so let's just give a file name file name equal to a file dot xls so xls uh, the print is, is gonna be excel file so the file name must be within uh, double course uh, if you use a single course then okay uh, uh, the third uh, we have to pass the third header parameter and this uh, this will be uh, to controlling your case case control case control max is equal to zero that does means it will on case any of your file name or something like so so we have done the uh, saving things sir now it's time to uh, check that our data is saving on Excel sheet or not so to do that we just create a writer so use the Excel Is the Excel uh, dot uh, under, underscore our factory? We have to call that static method hit writer hit writer. We're creating a new writer. Uh, the writer instance would be uh, PSP Excel PSP Excel uh, that we created here. You see and we're using it here okay now uh, which format you will get uh, this will be a axle axle 5 axle 5 okay you got that uh, and now the last one thing is we have to save that file to do that just get a larger and simply just save method and what will be saved uh, things will be saved as php uh, save as php import so if the data will be set on um, this instance so okay we got this let's just have a try on this have a look on this list uh, uh, oh 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 can you see that this is downloaded and when you open up this file uh -huh. well there is something wrong well it says the file format is valid or something like right like so and um, just download this one more time to folder out how there's no data oh, yeah. well i think uh, we there's some error here so let's just do that uh, this is thanks things well let us take what evil we make here set php axle what this dot test dot axle file Mm, this probably 
display test while is set. Well, it's the same corrupted files. Uh, okay, let me check that. Uh, well, guys, I figured out the problem. What uh, was uh, creating the uh, creating um, uh, saying Excel file is can't open um, uh, because it's corrupted or some slide. So our bug was here. PHP Excel we use uh, we used to import, but that uh, this will not work. We must have to use output. So it will give us the output. That's uh, was actually the problem. So um, when you successfully uh, said that output from input, this will work. And and one more thing was uh, you have to remember the, the spreadsheet ml dot sheet. You must need to use the spreadsheet ml. So if you do this, then it it will work. So now let's have a test on this. Well, this file now open it up. Ah, can you see that it's work? So like this, you can uh, you can do many things with your programming skills. Uh, to thank you for watching, guys. Uh, for getting patience to watch in this video, and I hope this will help you out uh, from Excel. Uh, ready type of problems and will help you to uh, uh, add some good feature on your web application thank you and don't forget to subscribe and share my channel um, to encourage me for working more thank you obviously next time in skills um, to thank you for watching guys uh, for getting patience to watch in this video and I hope this will help you out uh, from Excel uh, ready type of problems and will help you to uh, uh, add some good feature on your web application thank you and don't forget to subscribe and share my channel um, to encourage me for working more Thank you. Obviously next time. Obviously next time.